All right, and I want to confirm that this also works for the uh, Rain 70. Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy DJ Superfly once more here with a, another quick little tutorial on how to basically use two computers to stream. So I got two uh, MacBooks, I got the 2017, and over here I got the brand new 2019. And I'm gonna show you how you can hook up both um, to get uh, basically just uh, running the audio uh, using the, the, the two USB ports in the back. So you can use one, won't be directly connected to Serato, which this would be my main mixing computer. And I'm also running Mix Emergency. Um, and that uh, I'm running the NDI out, which is a network interface, but I'm gonna show you how to do it um, over network so that whenever you're using two computers, um, especially this way, uh, it's much more effective. It's much more faster, and you don't have to bog down all the uh, bog down all the CPU on this computer. If you're running, you know, Serato and OBS and everything. If you got a second computer somehow, um, and you connect it to, you know, uh, a newer one or older one, whatever it is, uh, you can do that. Um, but I just wanted to show you quick here that um, you could do it over uh, USB-C uh, Thunderbolt three. You can see here it's uh, um, basically it runs 40 gigabytes um, up and downstream. So you can pretty much do a lot of stuff with this. I use this with my dock. I have a Thunderbolt dock that I hook up all my peripherals and whatnot. Uh, it's under my desk. But um, basically we can uh, connect both computers um, through that Thunderbolt uh, cable and share, you know, we're going to share the video. We can also share the audio. It's possible to do it that way. But to make it more feasible, to make it more um so we can just concentrate on this computer being our main mixing computer. Um, we can do that. We're gonna send the audio from uh, the second USB port um, into here using loopback. Now I've mentioned that loopback uh, does pretty cool things. And uh, the Rain 72 having you know all those virtual channels basically doesn't matter which USB port you're using. Um, it will it will detect it for some reason. It's pretty cool. Um, again, it's a software based thing, so. Uh, we didn't need two USB cables, so I got one hooked up here to my main Serato. Actually, I don't. Sorry. I thought I did. All right. So now I got it. Um, excuse all the cables. So I got this one basically running into my Serato. I got to change the, the Dex here, the Dex selection to one. And it's hooked up to, I got this little USB hub. And I'm trying to do this as quick as I can because my battery's running out. Um, I have all my cables underneath the table. But anyways... Um, so I got it here, got the mixer hooked up to that, and then I got this one here hooked up to the second computer, which we're gonna do here in a bit. Here, give me a sec. So there we go. And we're gonna jump into loopback. Now, if you haven't uh, watched my previous videos on how to set up the loopback, I highly suggest you go do that. Um, we're gonna leave the monitor uh, on. Basically, channels five and six is the main mix. And we got audio in. Kind of see it there. It's lowering the volume. I don't want to get a copyright strike. But five and six basically route into there. And we're going to use this specific um, loopback. It's called Loopback Audio 3. That's what I named it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and import that into OBS. So, what you do is you create a new uh, source, hit plus, hit the audio input capture. And it's going to say, okay. Okay, and then that loopback audio three, you can name it to whatever you want. So we'll go ahead there. And there it is. So it's capturing it and I'm gonna lower the volume on my mixer so you guys can see it's down. No volume. I'm on. You see that? Cool. So we got the audio in going in from here. Um, how do we send the video? So there's two ways. Um, you can do it through network. Basically, if you hook up, um, you know, those Ethernet cables and you have like a little switch somewhere on near you or a router that allows you to run um, pretty fast connections, you can do that. You can hook both of them up. But I'm going to show you an easier way, and that is through the Thunderbolt cable. But first, we need to go to each computer and we need to create that Thunderbolt connection. So we go to System Preferences. We go into Network. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the... There it is, <laughs> through the phone. Um, and we go here to plus sign. And basically just create a, you kind of see it there. It's called Thunderbolt Bridge. You create it and just leave it there for a bit. Um, and you hook up, let's hook up this side end first. 
on this one. So there it is. I'm gonna run it all the way over here to the other computer. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. Basically gonna create that network connection. Again, we're just networking computers. You can actually use um, uh, ethernet cable. You can literally just connect both um, through ethernet. Uh, it, like I'm just using this because this is the fastest uh, out there and it's, you know, it's just simple straight connection. These are about like 20 bucks. Um, they're pretty expensive. Um, and they're pretty short, so the shortest they say is you know the more uh, reliable connection. Um, but again, we're gonna go into network here, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new Thunderbolt bridge here. Create, and then hook it up. I was gonna do screen recording, but it'd be kind of hard to you know show you guys what I'm talking about with all these cables that I'm hooking up. Don't forget, hit apply on each one. My bad. I forgot to do that. Hit apply. There we go. And now we wait. So hit apply. You kind of see this this one over here already turned green. So the Thunderbolt bridge is connected. Um, and I got Wi-Fi off. So there's no Wi-Fi as you can see. I'm basically just gonna run this one offline. This is my main again my main uh, Serato book that I'm I'm doing. Um, and so we got that going right. And how do we send the video out? So that's the other question um, I kind of want to show over here too as well. You got Thunderbolt Bridge. And usually, typically this laptop, I'll run like the Ethernet connection because I got it connected to my dock. Um, but if you want to, you can actually share the internet. You can share the internet from this laptop to go into you know the cable and into there. So which is pretty cool. But that's in the, in the sharing settings of that of this specific um, laptop. And quick, I just wanted to show, I know people are going to ask, Every time I mention something, <laughs> um, if you want to share the internet, again, you got to make sure you're, you're, you're using this laptop, or whatever format you're connecting to the internet, whether it be ethernet or it be Wi-Fi. Right now I got it hooked up to Wi-Fi. Um, so once you got this um, network thing figured out where you're connected to the Thunderbolt uh, or whatever it is you're using, uh, you basically just go back um, and just go to sharing. And then here, I'm going to turn on internet sharing. And it's asking me, do I want to start? Yes. and you know, allow it to, you know, what, where do you want to start your connection from? Either Wi-Fi or Ethernet and which computer? Um, see, I have a, a low Belkin USB-C LAN or a Thunderbolt bridge which we're using now. And I click that on. Basically, I can share the Internet from whatever Wi-Fi is coming in from here. Jump it all the way to the Thunderbolt cable down into here. And I got Internet now. Uh, but how do you send the video from this one to out? Um, basically, we're going to enable the MIDI connection, or I'm sorry, the NDI connection from here. So what we do is in Mixed Emergency is we go into the Preferences, and then we go into Sharing, right? Sharing, and then we allow the NDI output. And I just kind of have it just at 1280, um, just for a faster connection. Um, and once that's enabled, uh, give it a few again it's it's sending it over through here it's got to detect everything now we're gonna go into this computer and since we got the audio uh, captured now we need to capture that NDI source from that other laptop so for this to work you got to have the NDI um, plugin installed on both computers and that is available that information was available on my uh, other videos if you don't know how to do that it's it's pretty easy you just install that thing and um, there it is make sure you hit that arrow you hit that MacBook there it is so that's my 2017 the bandwidth uh, how you suggest you do the highest bandwidth and uh, you can do normal uh, if you were to do this over Wi-Fi or a slow connection it the video would not match to the audio you know what I'm saying but since we're doing it this way we're gonna go ahead and do that and there's the screen I don't have a video there it is so there's the screen and basically I'm just gonna route this back into the back and so there we go now I'm gonna play the track here oops go to channel I'm running internal mode I don't have my turntables hooked up so in there and you can kind of see that the the audio is synced and there's no skips like I've noticed that there, there's nothing that I can skip so again um, this allows for my laptop uh, my Serato laptop main mix laptop to be running um, at you know what it's supposed to with no hiccups or whatever and with this one 
my new MacBook, I can basically run this um, CPU. If I start streaming, my CPU usage is like super low, like 2%. And I'm running 1080p out with 60 frames per second. That's crazy, huh? Um, again, I'm just running it because I'm running Wi-Fi. Um, you kind of see that thing turning red. Uh, once it's stable enough, it'll be there and the frames will catch up. So, But my CPU usage is still pretty low. So this would be used as my streaming computer if I wanted to. Um, I can probably even run a second instance of uh, uh, OBS and run Instagram uh, output in there. And I'll show you that in another video. Um, but since I'm running pretty low CPU, that's pretty crazy. This is what I want it, right? I want it to the, show you that it is possible to do it. Um, but again, it all depends on how you do this connection. So like I said, it, you can do that create bridge with ethernet cables as well. Uh, you just have, have to have the adapters for them and it'll pass the same amount of information. I do this a lot because when at, at the place I DJ at, I use the ethernet to the main video wall and it works just as great. So, um, and if you have issues, please let me know. Um, and again, this is one of the cool things that you can do with NDI. A lot of people don't realize they can do crazy stuff like this. I don't recommend doing it over Wi-Fi just because you're gonna get a lot of drop uh, frames and whatnot. Um, yeah, look at that, it's crazy. Again, I'm just running it because uh, through Wi-Fi, of course I'm gonna get drop frames. But when I run it through ethernet, um, straight hooked up to a switch, I have a little switch here. Uh, I don't get nothing. I get no, my concern, like I said, is mostly the CPU. Um, I can lower down the frame rate um, or the output of it, but uh, when I've been streaming, it streams pretty good. So, um, all right, and I wanna confirm that this also works for the uh, Rain 70. You can see there, got my Serato running, play a track. Still got the cables hooked up there. You can see that, Thunderbolt, it's Thunderbolt. We got running here on OBS. I got the audio input, uh, input capture into uh, the Rain 70 and I also got loopback so loopback also works with uh, the Rain 70 you see there uh, see it there Rain 70 boom you can see there yeah uh, if you guys like this video please like subscribe uh, leave a comment on what you think about this um, and yeah uh, if you don't know anything about the networking part of it and how to do it there's tons of videos out there on how to uh, get this to show up on your on your computer.